So after spending the last six years of my life in security, I decided to take 26 practice security plus exams with no studying as quickly as I could just to see what my odds are like for passing the security plus exam. I'm gonna go over my scores, but most importantly, I wanna point out what your expectations are going into this career. So if you're trying to get a foot in the door, then you're not gonna wanna miss this. But before I get into the results of the tests, I wanted to go over a few questions that I've been getting in the comments that spurred me to take the test in the first place. Is this cert enough to get a job in security? Yes. What about this cert? Yes. Can I get a job without knowing any coding? Yes. Do I have to give up my social life? Yeah. Anyways, you get the point. I get it. People want to know what you need to learn and put on their resume to stand a chance at landing a security job. So hopefully this video can answer a few questions for those of you actively looking for a job right now. I think the first question that you need to ask yourself is what type of security job do you want? Is it red team? Is it blue team? Purple team? Marvel DC? You and I are not so different. I'm not like you. You're a murderer. Well, do each his own. I chose my path, you chose the way of the hero. <laughs> Marvel. Jokes aside, this really is the most important question. If you don't know exactly what you want... What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Then how are you going to learn what you need to learn to get the job? But what's enough to start applying? This might sound cliche and it might scare some people, but in my experience, nothing's ever gonna be enough. It's just a matter of knowing enough to fit the expectations of a job and knowing more than everybody else who's applied. So if you're going up against a really knowledgeable applicant pool, then it doesn't really matter if you fit the expectations because the hiring manager is just gonna go with the person who knows the most, the person who knows more than you. On the other side of things, if you're the most knowledgeable person in the room, but you don't fit the expectations of the job, then the hiring manager is just gonna wait for more experienced applicants. That's why I say you have to keep applying and learning because at a certain point, you're gonna be the person at the top during the hiring process who offers enough experience to get the job done. It's only a matter of time, if you continue learning that is. However, just focusing on applying to jobs with no knowledge to back you up is, as some would say, a fool's errand. I've said it in a previous video, but I'll say it again. Cybersecurity is ever evolving. You need to become really proficient in learning, as in you need to learn how to learn and learn fast. Kind of like learning purgatory. Expecting everyone to know every single exploit is practically impossible unless you have photographic memory, which I don't. But if you understand the core principles of hacking, then you're gonna know when something is off and how to go about investigating if you're blue team or how to approach breaking into something if you're red team. Also keep in mind that these core principles do not come overnight. I've been studying the subject as much as an average person would in the past six years through university and self-studying. But that being said, let's get into what all of you have been waiting for, the results of the practice tests. effective immediately. Um, I couldn't even pass the security test. Yeah, I don't know why you hired me either. So as you can see, I did not pass most of them. Don't worry, this doesn't mean I'm bad at security. It just means I'm good at lying, which is part of security, which means I'm actually good at security. Anyways, take certifications with a grain of salt, more like a cup, a lot of salt. It's not that Security Plus is a difficult exam. It is in fact one of the easier ones to get. It's just that the concepts are what I like to call brain dump questions that require memorization of very high level concepts and keywords. And quite frankly, I haven't used any of these since college. So if you can pass it, then you'll probably forget most of what you learned like I did, but you'll still retain the gist of it. And that's all HR really wants to see on your resume anyways. Nice. So again, what's enough to land a security job? You will never be enough. Nothing is enough. The only thing you can do is keep trying and keep applying, and then eventually it'll happen. That's what I did anyways, and man, is my current position better than any job I can imagine right now. I could literally do this for the rest of my life if I got paid more, I have a lot of kids. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. If an average Joe Schmo like me can land a security position, then anyone can, and there's hope for you. You just have to put in the work and continue watching my videos. Eh? Thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure to like and comment on how much better you did than me on the security tests. I challenge you to do better. But yeah, thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.